Nope. Who remembers the 1975 hit song Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players? Well, for those of you who might have never heard it, there's a part about two and a half minutes in where a strange noise can be heard in the background. Many listeners have deemed this high-pitched squeal to be the blood-curdling scream of a woman. Well, what was the sound? Who was the woman? If it was a scream, how did it make it into the final mix of the track? No one really knows, but there have been a wide array of theories created throughout the decades. Conspiracies 1 through 3 via urbanlegends.about.com Number 1. This one is not really a conspiracy, but more of an explanation. Unfortunately for those who would like to believe in a darker reality, it is also most likely to be true. Ohio player Jimmy Diamond Williams has explained that the scream was actually an intentional vocal recording made by a band member named Billy Beck, who was just trying to add a little oomph to the vocal track. Once the urban legends began to arise, the band decided not to comment on it, thus adding more mystery and, in turn, increasing sales. Conspiracy number two. The Love Roller Coaster scream was actually mentioned in a 1998 horror film titled Urban Legend. In the movie, one of the characters claimed that the scream came from a cleaning lady who was stabbed to death in some dark corner of the recording studio where the players were cutting the final mix of the track. Conspiracy number three. This one is the most popular amongst all the theories behind the scream. It states that the scream came from the woman who modeled for the album cover. Why did she scream? You see, despite the album being called Honey, the material that was put on her for the photo was not actually honey, but instead a strange acrylic substance. The material adhered to the woman's body, and in the process of having it removed, ended up tearing off her flesh violently. Someone managed to capture the audio of the horrific event, and ended up using one of the screams in the final mix of the song. Conspiracies 4 and 5 via Snopes.com Number 4 Riffing off the idea of number three, the album cover model had her career ruined after being mutilated by the synthetic honey substance. In turn, she decided to burst into the recording studio while the Ohio players were recording Love Roller Coaster. After threatening to sue the band for everything they were worth, the band's manager stabbed her to death right there in the control booth. That's the scream you hear in the song. Conspiracy number five. The rumor that went around Passaic, New Jersey was that the scream in the song was from a real woman being murdered. Apparently the song was recorded in the band's apartment. An intruder had broken in and violently murdered a woman in one of the neighboring living spaces. The scream, though subtle, ended up being captured and put into the final mix of the track. To reiterate, it is more than likely that the sound was an intentional vocal made by one of the members of the band, nothing more, nothing less. But for anyone who has really listened closely to the squeal, it's hard to deny how much it does sound like a horrific screech made by a woman in agony. Whatever you choose to believe, it's up to you.